their wives to each other. Read it and laugh. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. They cannot say, and we can show from other books too. But this is, I mean, Sahih al-Bukhari is the most authentic, supposedly. Brother, you converted to Islam? Okay, brother. I'm going to share my property with you. I'm going to divide it between us. I have two wives. You take one. I keep one. However, go inside. Look at them. See which one you like. Look how giving this religion is. Hmm? I have two wives. And I have two wives. So see which one you like and tell me. It's like saying I have two cars, two donkeys, two horses. This is a wife. Do we have any Abdul? Hmm. I see. Ashamed? So, Brother Thithar, we Muslims, we believe one God. Every single year. It is going to become... What, what, how many? That over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. A tsunami. Your, your child is going to become an apostate. And by the way, when those people leave Islam, are you going to take the wife back? When those people they leave Islam, are you going to take the wife back? Because as you see, when you convert to Islam, they give you the wife. They give you one of their wives. When you leave Islam... <laughs> I mean, this Muslim, I just called him. I told him, I'm live. He said, I cannot talk. And now he's saying, when you are live, <laughs> I just call him. <laughs> What's wrong with people? <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. I just called you and you told me you cannot talk. And you are telling me when you will, are you alive? I just told you I'm live. I hate stupidity. Do we have any brave Abdul? Uh, we have calls from yesterday. Let us see this guy. Maybe we can get a fish. And the brother said, sir, there's 100,000 leaving Islam a day. So make donating for us. If you don't make donating, People will leave Islam, brother. All of this just to collect donation. What a scam. Brother Sitar, if you donate for us, brother, we are going to stop the Muslims from leaving Islam, brother. I'm telling you, brother Sitar, there's 100,000 leaving Islam a day, brother. Make donation. Make donation. Yeah, donation. Okay, so they are leaving Islam. Now, if you make donation, they will stop leaving Islam. What? I mean, they are there. YouTube cost you nothing. I mean, look at this scam. They have a, a debate with uh, David Wood. After two hours, they make a video crying for donation. Please, brother, that's the real money. Obviously, it's about money. Make donation. Brother, that's the there are 100,000 leaving Islam because Islam is a joke. You make donation, don't make donation, who cares? You are building mosques everywhere. Money is coming like rain from Saudi Arabia, from Qatar, from Bahrain. Terrorists support you. But still, Islam is garbage. What the heck? I mean, what your voice? What it is going to become an avalanche. Uh, come on, you're exaggerating, man. I don't believe 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. 24% of Muslim youth are...
Is that including you? I mean, is the number correct? I mean, even when the Muslim, they give numbers, by the way, all Muslim numbers is a fabrication. Even the one about leaving Islam, because 24%, how this guy, he got this number? I, I, I want somebody to tell me how in the world they get the numbers. Did you go and ask every youth? 24% of the youth are leaving Islam, brother Sattar. Where did the number coming from? Those people, they are fraud. I heard they are 25% percent, brother. Prove me long. Do you have any proof of what you say? Yeah, just go in the stage, say whatever, you know, and there's people leaving Islam, yeah. And he have to come with number, and the number is that number is big. So let us let us let us uh, try 24. If 24 did not work, we will try 26. <laughs> what a stupid religion. So, brother and sister, what is the proof that Islam is from God? Brother, we have one God who allow us to exchange wives, brother. We have one God who allow us to do muta, brother. And you want more proof that Islam is from God? Are you deaf? Are you blind? This is love. Look how much love they have between each other. Brother, I have two wives. So go, see which one you like. Look, 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 look what he said. So see which of the two, see? You see the word see? You have to see them first, brother, okay? Hey, Fatima, Aisha, come over here. You can take off your clothes. Yeah. You know what, you, 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 you don't take your, you're very hairy, don't take your clothes off, otherwise he will not take any of you. So see which one you like, brother? This is a religion. You don't know how to state stats work? Khalid, I don't know what does that mean. I don't know. Khalid is saying to me something weird. He says, sound like you don't know how stats work. That's deep. That's really seriously deep, Khalid. I don't know Khalid. You know, Khalid, you remind me of Khalid ibn Walid, the one who killed one of the Muslims, he raped his wife, and he 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 ate the guy. He cooked him, and he ate him. <laughs> I hope you are not the same guy. Are you? One of the best companion of Muhammad and the Muslim, they call him the sword of Allah. He killed the guy. He cooked the guy, and he raped the wife of the guy. And he is a Muslim guy. So, Khaled, I don't know what you mean. Seem you like you don't know how stats work. Uh, how stats work? You tell me. Do you like to call me and tell me how stats work? As you see, we don't know. We learn everything from Muslims. There's a hadith says that in the Nabiya qad allimana kulla shay hatta al khara. The Prophet he taught us everything, including how to do pupu. Brother, people. Muslims before Islam do not know how to do poo poo. Do you think it used to come from their nose before? If we search for the word, we will find tons of hadith, tons of hadith, tons of hadith. All of it is about shit. Your companion, a, a guy he said to him, an Arab man he said to him, Your companion, mean prophet, even he teach you how to do it. By the way, they use the word toilet. It's it's false. This false translation. It says al khara, literally the word shit. The Muslim he says yes, brother. He, he read it. And the Prophet he teach you how to exchange wives. Khalid, uh -huh. you see, my friend Khalid is a very nice person. He said, it's not my job to educate fools. Mm. Yeah, Khalid, you know, it's not your job, brother. 
It's a job of Allah. The one who made the sun set in murky water and he made the sperm became a congealed blood and he made the women's sperm come from her ribs. It's not my job to educate fools. That's very nice of you. It's not your job. Because you're a fool, how you can educate us? I mean, how in the world there's a person, he claimed that he is smart, he believed that there is a God, if he bow down to him and kill some people, this God will make his penis endless. By the way, what about your testicles? They will be endless too. What is the size of your testicle? Imagine your penis is endless and your... And how you can walk with this penis? And you're talking about a fool? I mean, it must be true God. I mean, only through God promise us endless penis. So you are going to be in Washington, D.C., next to Joe Biden. And then Joe Biden, he asks you, uh, <clears throat> what is that? Uh, you say, this is my uh, uh, penis. Oh, uh, are you like from the pipeline company coming here to strike against me because I cut the pipeline? And the Muslim, he will say, he will hold it. He will say, ouch. No, don't cut it, man. This is not a pipeline. It's a true penis given to me by Allah because I was a true believer. So this is the religion. Call me and show everybody how stupid this God is. I mean, do, do, I mean, do, do even Muslims have a brain to believe in such a garbage? There's a God who will make your penis endless because you believe in him and he will make the vagina fit for it. So what, we will have a vagina like all the way from France to uh, Seven Galaxy? It must be true God. It must be true God. Hmm. Amar saying, have some manner, man. Are you saying that to me, Amar, or to your prophet? Because your prophet is the one who said that. I'm reading your prophet words. Are you saying that your prophet have no manner? <laughs> you see, they get hurt. The second you read for them what their prophet said, they get hurt. And suddenly they are speaking about good manner. Well, we just showed you Muslims exchanging wives and you are talking about good manner. Doing muta. Manner? Do you have any? Can I take your wife and you take my wife? What is that? And you are talking about manner? The prophet, he go to his own son house when the wife is alone and he flirt with her. And he said to her, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart, my heart flip for you. And he said that loudly so she can hear it. Is that the good manner you are talking about? I want to learn about it. So do we have any Muslim who have a good manner? He can call us and school us. <clears throat> do your book ship to Bahrain I don't know my friend you can try in Amazon you can try in Amazon and see if they ship to Bahrain do we have any Abdul what they will say they can defend Imagine, imagine, God forbid, God forbid, forgive me, those names, I will mention their names. Imagine, Peter, he said to Paul, you converted to Christianity, Paul? Really? I'm going to divide my property with you. And now Paul, his name will be Muhammad, and Peter, his name will be Ali. So Ali, he said to Muhammad, you converted to Islam? Okay, listen, I have two wives. Go, go. Go, 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 in, go inside. Go inside and see which one you like. Brother, choose anyone. Please. I see a guy here is desperate to get rid of his wives. I mean, how bad they are. And Muhammad, he approved that. And then he told him even to inherit each other until he made a verse later because people start talking about this hippie cult. He says, you should inherit only from your blood line. I will call you and shut you up. But I am at work. Will you be again 
In five hours, Sufyan. Okay, Sufyan Abdul. Where you been last time when I was live? When you been the day before it? When you been the month before it? When you been the year before it? And always you are at work and look how good this Muslim is. You give him a sari, he go to YouTube chat. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. Okay, are you going to go be there after five hours? I am at work now. They are paying me salary in the gas station, but I'm not going to work. I'm watching YouTube. Praise be to Allah. I'm a very good employee. But don't tell my employer, okay? Mm. Mm. Decency. A lot of decency. He's at work now. He's busy at work. He's very busy. Coming to Christian Prince channel, busy. May, may Allah may Allah bless your heart and your decency for the hard work you do watching YouTube. I love it, brother. Brother, shouldn't we call the owner, the employer, to increase your salary because you are sacrificing yourself to just to be there to give a blessing for the business? I think this is your business, just to give a blessing for the business. You go there, the owner make money just because you are there. Ah, Sufyan. You remind me of Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan, your prophet, he paid him money to convert to Islam. Can you believe it? Look how the scam work. He could not convince them to convert to Islam. He paid them money. Are you going to say this is not true? Brother, are you the son of Abu Sufyan, who the Prophet paid him money to convert to Islam? A lot of money. This guy was a gang. He's a criminal. And later those are became Bani Umayyad, the one who controlled all of Islam, actually. So they convert to Islam, they took the money, and then they became the caliphate. And they killed the grandsons of Muhammad. Gang. He wanted Islam to be victorious by gang. And this is what the gang do. They killed his family, they took over, and they became the caliphate. Hmm? Chapter 9, verse number 60. Maybe a Muslim will say to you, this is not true. It doesn't say that, CP. Uh -huh. Really? Yes, it doesn't say that, CP. Uh, okay, can we read the interpretation? No, don't read the interpretation, CP. Uh, why not? Because the interpretation is made by people like you, CP, and they are a human, CP. Oh, your prophet is a human too, and you're a human, aren't you? Oh, no, I'm not a human. I'm an alien. I voted for Joe Biden. We are alien. Here we go. It says, uh, and those with their heart are to be reclined, reconciled, sorry, by giving them gifts as such as Abu Sufyan and his companions, and there were 15 gang men, money. They could not believe in Islam, but money work. Do we have any Abdul? Abu Sufyan, look, Abu Sufyan disappeared now. We don't even have text. You voted for Joe Biden? Well, you must be an alien to vote for Joe Biden. And look now, he's making drama about uh, uh, January 6th. This guy, he want to cover his, his uh, trash. Uh, uh, gas is expensive. Food is expensive. Hey, January 6th, Trump, he did uh, want to destroy democracy. And now they want to make a drama about it for the coming century, you know? But just because they have nothing, you know, it's just a stupid presidency. Garbage in, garbage out. Who is going to vote for this guy unless he's an alien? I mean, this guy hardly he remember his name, and his vice president she 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 is like a, you know, <laughs> she's in high, she's in drugs. Stupid American. There's nobody can beat stupidity of Islam except the American people, my friend. Unbelievable how genius they are. If you don't believe me, look at the Congress who is presenting them there. See who they elect, I will tell you who you are. Now, do we have any Muslim yet? So Muslims, I'm still 
I'm still single. So if I convert to Islam, how many of you will give me your wife? Let us, be, let us be honest. Let us have a deal here. As long as you see, you pay, and you uh, divide even property, you know? So if I convert...